Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a new beer from New Belgium. This is, actually, I believe I might have had this one, maybe. But anyway, uh, this is a new of me reviewing it uh, this year. This is 1985 Mango IPA. Uh, this was canned less than a month ago. They just had a buy one, get one at Publix, so always fresh. And at the price point of six fifty ish for a six pack, you cannot beat it. So buy two, you get one free so or no sorry yeah buy one get one free or buy one get one not even buy two get one free buy one get one free so insane um mango flavored ipa i think i've actually pulled up um from the computer here sorry about that 30 ibu 6.7 percent london l3 Fato cascade citrus simcoe centennial pale malt malted oats white wheat so very much a hazy ipa recipe but then um i believe it's mango flavor in here and i'm curious about the date uh 1985 1985 makes you 39 years old is that like the proper point of a craft beer consumer like 1985 is a great year uh, i'm an 88 kid or sorry 88 old guy or <laughs> adult now i don't know i feel old as hell um Beautiful can. I mean, you get that pink to um, yellow gradients, that kind of uh, retro kind of vibe, that kind of Cobra on there, 1985, that kind of like, it just looks cool. Uh, I like the vibe on it, but, but let's see how that beer tastes. It's fresh as hell. So let's check it out. Uh, beer is very pale. Uh, comes to straws like gold color, not completely opaque, like a medium to medium plus at best haze. Uh, definitely light coming through in the glass. Oh, yeah. So they definitely use some uh, flavoring here. Or, yeah, I mean, they, they say mango flavor, at least on the website. And not even the ingredients, but they say juicy mango flavor. I think they're not, like, relying on just the hops. Yeah, there's a little bit extra here. So it, 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 it's, I don't know if it's just straight mango. Like, what is that flavoring? It's like, it is, see, like, some of these hops, like, they're intoxicating. Like, it's all these ripe, juicy, like, you know, cheater fruits. But it's like at a... It's like a candied cheater fruit. So it's like melon, cantaloupe, passion fruit, lychee, long an, kind of like, yeah, there's an extra sexy fruitiness that's a little bit extra. Like, I wish it just toned out a little bit. Like, maybe add some of that flavoring, but like, just don't bump it up like so freaking high. Like, it's very Jolly Rancher ish. Uh, peach rings for days like a lot of peachiness yeah peach rings um gummy bears um like it's very artificial like you smell this like tropical candiness but it's like stone fruit candiness melon but it's like extra candy-ish yeah it's just it's just straight malt melted haribo uh gummy bears all the way up front uh, it gets like white pear gummy bear flavor, like that 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 white one, very distinctly that one, all the way up front. Uh, the beer is actually not that thick; uh, doesn't sell that much haziness to it, uh, despite the um, London L three and the yeah the malted oats and the white wheat. It's not a very thick, chewy boy. Um, granted, this is beer built for shelf stability and wide distribution. It's not like an other half beer that where you're, like you're making. How many thousand barrels? We're talking about like tens of hundreds of barrels of this guy, right? Being produced nationwide. So, very nice beer, though. Yeah. Candied fruitiness up front. It's actually not that offensive because it's a little bit offensive, but like that, like candied Haribo flavor is actually quite pleasant. It, 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 it's, it's artificial, but it's not. How do I describe it? It's it, it's a lighter flavor, right? That white gummy bear is a lighter flavor versus some of these uh, flavors can be very punchy. Um, juice force is very offensive in the sense that it's like Kool Aid. It's a, it, it, it you know it, that's a heavy kind of flavor. If that makes any sense, right? Like you eat um, a white gummy bear, it's gonna be like a more of a neutral kind of like candied sweetness versus that Kool Aid flavor is like. You know, wow! It, it it just tastes red. Like you you don't even have to like look at it. it just like tastes red in your on your palate. Versus this is like, all right, like it's a candiedness and you know whatever color it hits is sort of like whatever. White peaches, 
white pear, melon. It's a little bit dominating. And I'm actually, the cool thing is that I'm actually not quite sure where the hops start and where the flavor sort of ends, which is nice. Because sometimes the, uh, the, 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 the forces flavors sort of like, um, they, they cover and they sort of, it's sort of like having a steak with, a che with cheese on top. And it's like, you don't know where the, you know, like, it's like, clearly I'm, I'm trying to eat a delicious steak, but not get cheese on my palate. And it's like, whatever it's like, right. It doesn't quite work versus like a really beautifully built burger that she just melts into it. And you really can't tell where the meat and the cheese starts, right? It's like, it's just integrated quite well. And this is actually somewhat integrated with the artificial flavoring, which I don't like, but 6.7%, moderate ABV for um, an IPA. Uh, the beer actually ends up a little bit grainy and dry on the back end. Not a bad beer. Um, it's fine. Like... Like where do you where where do you set this guy at? Because I I want I want to say the juicy haze is just a straight up better beer because it's just like a regular ass hazy IPA, and it has natural flavors to it as in from malts, grains, yeast, water, not art, artificial flavoring. It comes from hops those flavors, um, but here it's not as distracting. So here it might be one of it might even be better than Tropic Force, which is the uh, I think it's a pineapple mango uh, flavored hazy IPA that they do, they do. And even then I find it a little bit distracting. Here's a little bit distracting, but I guess it worked in a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, again, th this four stuff is still one of my least favorite beers of last year, but yeah, this one's okay. Yeah, this one's actually not bad. Yeah. Because you know what it is? That whatever mango ester or artificial flavor they're using comes off almost like an ester profile. And it almost comes off somewhat natural coming off in yeast. So that's where it tricks your brain. And it, again, it's it's integrated. It's like, you know, melted onto a cheeseburger versus like having hazy IPA, which is, again, like having um, a piece of chicken and then just smack on a piece of... <laughs> These flavors are insane where it's like, it's like putting a piece of pork chop on top of your on your chicken breast it's like what it's like hey whoa 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 it's like it's like putting blue cheese on a chicken breast right like these flavors sort of just like they they, they may work but they're strong and they sort of clash and show themselves versus here it's like a little bit like in a little bit more you know melding in you know i don't know if that makes any sense um this beer <laughs> actually not bad i think it's actually decently drinkable uh, I, I tend to sort of like it out of the the artificial flavor new belgium stuff i'm gonna give it an 86 1985 1985 get a 96 uh, 86 from darwin for uh new belgium uh if you guys are born in 1985 post the comments below until next time cheers i still feel old as hell later